Hello, it's Lee with AppointmentReminder.com. Uh, just wanted to go through our new calendar setup with uh, new users, show them how to use the native calendar app that we have with Appointment Reminder. Uh, this is going to be for users who are not using Google Calendar, Office 365, uh, or any other in calendar integrations. They're simply going to use our system to send the reminders. And it's super easy uh, to get up and going so just wanted to show that so what i've got here is a brand new account that we've set up and you'll see on the left hand side that there's a calendar that's automatically created when you start the system in this case i just put my business calendar might be whatever the name of your business is and to make an appointment for the system what we need to do is just go to the next day or whatever day the appointment's going to be and click on the calendar it's going to bring up this information and allow me to start putting in the customers uh, that we have. So if I don't have a customer already loaded or if I haven't gone through that, I simply just hit add customer here and I'm going to put their information in. And we're going to say what time zone that particular person is in. And we're going to say what we want to send. So in this case, we want to send a text message uh, reminder to this particular customer and just put their, their phone number on here and it'll recognize it. If we want to do uh, email here, uh, same thing. We'll need to get that information. If we're going to do a phone call, you can put that there. So just go ahead and save that. Uh, it's going to load Mickey Mouse. We It sees the, the phone number and the email now. And it's on this My Business Calendar. The date of the appointment, in this case, is not an all-day appointment. We're just going to make it for uh, 11 a.m. on the 24th. And if it's a reoccurring appointment, we could we could say that. In this case, it's just one, one appointment here. And then... The message sequence is telling when to send and what reminders to send. So in this case, I've got different options and you can go in and make additional sequences to be completely customizable to how and when you want to send it. So if you want to send a seven day out, uh, seven day prior SMS or a seven day uh, email prior to lots of different uh, infinite customizations to whatever you want to do. And that's found under the settings message sequence. In this case, we're just going to use the default, which is send a, a reminder 24 hours prior, the text message reminder, and a 24-hour email. And then it's going just going to use our basic appointment reminder script. This is a default script that's set uh, for everybody. It picks up some information from the appointment and puts it in there. But once again, this is all editable under settings. Uh, reminder scripts is where you can change that. If I wanted to put this under a special color on the calendar, select that and then just hit save. And now I can see that the appointment, it's been loaded here on the 23rd. If I just click on it, you'll notice it looks slightly different now. The information has been completed and saved. And most importantly, if I look at the timeline information, I'm gonna be able to see what's going on with the reminders. So it's Mickey Mouse. It's going to send a text message to this number on the 22nd, which is one day prior to the appointment that, that I requested. And that's what the message is gonna say. It's also going to send an email at the same time. So on the 22nd at that same time. Now it's allowing the client to turn around and say yes, or no to cancel the appointment. Once again, completely customizable. If you don't want them to be able to do that, you can go into the settings information and change your appointment reminder scripts. Also, I can manually text Mickey Mouse from this number here. If I just hit manual text, it'll drop me in and, and be able to, to do so. So it's really easy to load an appointment. It's really easy to get up and going. Uh, the last thing I would need to do, though, would be to come up here and turn send messages on. So with this slit off like it is, it's not going to send any uh, reminders uh, with the system. So you would need to come up, turn that to on, and it will start sending messages for us. Uh, the settings information that I talked about is under here. So settings and edit reminder script. So this is us, uh, you being able to go in here and edit the information. You can it's completely 
customizable to whatever you want to say. So this is just something that comes in by default. Now, be aware that you want to try to keep this to under one segment. This is actually using two reminders in this case. Um, so a standard text message, 160 characters. So you can just come in here and maybe abbreviate appointment or whatever uh, to get that under that. And if I click on it, I would be able to preview the message that would be sent right there. Also, the email to edit would be right here. So this is the email that's going to go out to the client and the information that it says. And then the voice. So if you decided you wanted to do voice call for the customer, this is an automated message read in English. You could hit the play button and, and, and hear what it's going to say. The token function that you see up on this top right side is placeholders, that it's simply pulling information from the, the appointment, uh, the calendar name, different ways to make it more customized for how you want them, how and what you want the message to say. And I can create multiple reminder scripts by the top right hand corner add script. So when I'm in the appointment reminder making the appointment, I can choose what scripting I want to use. Uh, so that's the what we are saying. And under settings, and if I go to the uh, message sequence section, this is where I can edit the when we are send, sending it and what is being sent. So if I just click on this, this is a default here for most business. It's a 24-hour SMS and email. It's active. Uh, stop when reply is received. So this would be important if you have, say, multiple reminders going out, like if they reply on the third day, turn it off. And then skip past due reminders is also important. So if you had seven days of reminders, one being sent out every day, and you load an appointment 24 hours prior, it's going to send those seven reminders out right away. So depending on how many steps and what you're doing, something to be aware of. So in this case, it's a one day prior. I could come in here and edit this to two days prior, whatever I needed to, and send an email, or I could change this to a voice or uh, SMS. And I can add additional steps. So add new step here, just what I want it to be and what time it to be. So it's very customizable, very flexible for whatever your business needs are. Lastly, I will mention top right hand corner, our help uh, filed. If you've already got to this point, you've probably already seen that. Uh, but it is a great section for help and information as far as using the system goes. And if you do need any additional assistance, bottom right hand corner, our chat function is the best way to get a hold of us. You can come in here and uh, send us a message right here. Uh, we, we do monitor that very closely and it is the best way if we need additional help or assistance, we can jump on a Zoom call from there. Thanks, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, reach out to us if you have any other questions. Thank you very much.